Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the drug magnesium hydroxide, also known as milk of magnesia or milk of mag. This drug is classified as an osmotic laxative and an antacid. It is given for constipation and acid indigestion. It cannot be given to patients with renal failure, electrolyte imbalances, possible appendicitis, myocardial infarction, fecal impaction, or undiagnosed abdominal pain. This is because all of these conditions increase the risk of excessive amounts of magnesium entering the bloodstream or peritoneal cavity. In pregnant women, this drug has a category of A. Now, what we need to know is that this drug is unable to be absorbed and creates a hyperosmolar environment inside of our GI tract. If we remember osmosis from our previous videos, we remember that water is like a gold digger and always follows the environment or person who is the richest. Therefore, when we have a rich or high osmolarity, water will follow. Because magnesium hydroxide creates a hyperosmolar environment, water is pulled into the lumen or canal of the GI system. This will stretch the colon, which tells the enteric nervous system to make room by excreting stool. Additionally, magnesium hydroxide also reacts with stomach acid to make magnesium chloride, which helps decrease acidity. What we should know is that this drug is not absorbed, hence it is a osmotic laxative, and has an onset of 30 minutes. This is important to know. The side effects of this drug may include abdominal cramping, diarrhea, and electrolyte imbalance. If too much magnesium enters the bloodstream, it can cause very serious side effects such as hypotension and respiratory depression. Now, some commonly tested material about this drug is that it is an osmotic laxative and it is an antacid and be sure that there is no possibility that your patient could have a condition where the drug could enter the bloodstream. Lastly, please note that some common side effects are abdominal cramping and diarrhea. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with this today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.